for in the morning and I'm making a video. If you guys can see today, I will be trying the Aztec mask in my hair and just to see how it's going to work on my hair for the last two weeks, two to three weeks I should say. My hair has been very dry and it has like a lot of product build up. Um, the way I've been styling my hair for the past few weeks was really just having it in a high bun or like a really low ponytail so I wasn't really you know taking care of my curls and my curl pattern looks a little different and obviously you know everyone knows how their hair looks or hair normally is so how my hair looks currently one of the main ingredients is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay. Guys, let me tell you about this. This right here is heaven in a bottle. Oh. I use this on my face. I make a clay mask and I use this on my face for my acne. It works wonders. Um, I think this is like my second jar that I'm going through. This is actually pretty new. Probably used it three times so far. Um, I haven't done any clay masks in a minute. The second ingredient that I will be using is the Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. Next up, you're going to need a container and something to stir and mix the clay with. I would recommend you guys not to use any metal spoon or knife or use something plastic so it doesn't appear with the mixture. So first thing first, I'm just going to pour some of this powder in there. I'm just eyeballing it and just basically pouring how much I think my hair would need. Um, this is my first time using this on my hair because I have a lot of hair. I have a lot of hair, so I'm going to need a lot of face masks. Even if I don't use all of this in my hair, I could use it on my face. Now we're going to pour the apple cider in here. Do you guys hear that? The sizzling noise or sound? That's normal. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take my applicator that I usually use to put my face mask on just to mix this all up. And as I mix, I will add more apple cider vinegar so I could get that nice consistency that I want. Definitely not too thick. Okay, we're going to mix this up. I think I might have poured a little bit too much apple cider vinegar because this right here is like super watery it's too watery I need to add I don't know if you guys see that I need to add more of the clay in here Okay, so I think this is the consistency that I want this mask to be. So we're all set. So my next step is wetting my hair with water. In this container, I have warm water and the tank will inspection it so that my hair, hair is prepped and ready to apply the clay mask. So now I got my hair all wet and detangled. So it's going to be so much easier for me to you know, section and apply the clay mask. 
So I'm gonna take a small little piece like this. Maybe a little bit more. Like this. To apply the mask. And I'm just going to move this to the side, just how it looks. I had one job and I dropped some on the floor. So I'm just gonna start from the roots and work my way down like this. Okay. For anyone trying this for the first time, um, the smell is not bad at all. It's not even strong. with one side well half of my head now I'm going to do this side and be back okay guys so I have finished applying all of the clay mask I thought I was going to waste the clay first I thought I made too much clay mask to put on my hair but it turns out that it was the right amount because I used all of it and also as you guys can see it was a very messy process I got clay all over my body but it's okay I'm fine it washes off perfectly fine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in for 30 minutes in my hair and then I'll come back you know wash this off I will not shampoo my hair at all because this clay is going to act as a cleanser, right? The whole purpose of this clay is to cleanse my scalp, cleanse my hair, you know, reprogram, reboot, everything. So I'm going to wash this all out and I'll be back to show you guys the results of this little experiment. So this is how my hair looks after washing out the clay mask out of my hair. I use really, really hot water to get the mask out because when it dried, it was very stiff. If you've ever used a clay mask before, you know how hard it gets on your face. That's what happened to my hair. It was very stiff. And I used really hot water to wash it out and I had to make sure I was, I was probably under the water for like a good 10 to 15 minutes just getting all that out of my hair. And my hair feels really soft. It feels really clean. My scalp feels really clean because um, my scalp was really dry to the point where some parts had dandruff and there's no more dandruff. It's all gone. So this is the end of my video. This is my results. I really liked how my hair came out. I was a little nervous doing it, especially when, you know, the mask started to get really hard on my hair, but it turned out really well. I will definitely recommend this to everyone. It doesn't matter what type of hair you have. If you feel like your hair, you're doing all these protein treatments, 
or whatever the case is and your hair is just not the same try this out give it a try hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys would like more videos like this definitely let me know in the comments don't forget to like comment and subscribe especially if you're new don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you can get a notification whenever I post a new video so you won't miss any appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in another video